Listen, basis loaded, bottom of the ninth. I gotta take my time on this video because let it breathe. And this is just a mixtape. I have been talking about this for the whole week and somebody left a comment. Shout out to that person, for real. You know who you are. They said, can you make a video on CJ So Cool? First of all, I don't do video requests, but I feel like the people that support my channel, FLS, they understand that if there's a subject that goes along with the topic, they'll put it in the comment section. And I just want to say to all to everybody out there, I, I, I appreciate you all because um, I don't know. I, I never heard of CJ So Cool, but that's the cool thing about YouTube. I'm going to take my time on this video. We have a lot of content creators that put out content. You can make content about bike riding. You can make content about dirt biking. You can make content about skiing. You can make content about snowing. And this man right here, he decided to make content about being a stepfather. And I'm going to put the link in the description, but in this clip, he is pretty much saying that to everybody out there, do not become a stepfather. He said the same thing I've been saying for a week. People chastised me. I had to block people. People was like, Mr. Keep It Simple, I agree with everything you say, but as far as this being a stepdad, ain't nothing wrong with being a stepdad. Let me tell you guys something. You could do what you want to do. You could be all you could be. If you want to be a stepdad, go and be the best stepdad you want. But you also put yourself in a position where you don't have any authority. You put yourself in a position where anything can happen to you. And now he is in a position where people are believing that he touched and essayed a younger woman inappropriately. Now, I talked about a female final boss. And that's, to me, I feel like that's the only way a man will really step up and take care of another man's seed because... um. It's a tough situation to be in, and he's in a position, and I feel like we can learn from this. So to everybody out there, if you're dating a woman with a child and just say it's a girl or just say it's a boy, it's even worse. I mean, but just say the child said you touched him. It doesn't matter if it's a lie. It doesn't matter if it's the truth. Because, see, men lie, women lie, kids lie. But you have to understand, and rightfully so, as long as a woman is alive, you listen, you can never stop being a mother. A mother is a mother for life. Everybody put FL in the chat. For a lot of you guys that are thinking with your lower head and not thinking with your big head, I just want to let you guys know that a mother is a mother for life. If you want to put FL or if you want to put 4L, get that through your head. She's a mother for life. A lot of guys, when they come in, they feel like, oh, the child is 15. She only got the kids only there for three more years. I'm going to come in. The kids are at the house. No, she's a mother for life. So that kid is her top priority for life. It doesn't matter if the kid lie. She's going to go with the lie because that kid is a top priority for life. I drop real gems in my video. A mother is always a mother. She's a mother to like casket drop. But one thing a stepfather is, a stepfather cannot claim the daughter. This man literally, I don't know if it was for YouTube views, but my man literally said, my daughter Jalea invited her boyfriend to my house. It's not his daughter. And the fact that it's not his daughter is the fact why Jalea is saying that he touched her and S-8'd her. The same, the same, make it make sense. The same stepdaughter, well, no, the same child of another man that he took on a private jet is now saying he s ate her and you got to stop and think as a grown man without kids now a lot of people kept saying oh well a father with child the only reason i say a father or a single father the situation might be more appealing is because he has a child and he and he's and he's been around kids single men Unless you got a brother, unless you an uncle, man, it's no telling. You might just be a, 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 a only child. You, you're not around kids. You don't work at a daycare. You're not a substitute teacher. You're not in the school system. You're not a pediatrics doctor. So at the end of the day, most men, when we meet a woman with a child, we are not thinking long term. If CJ so cool was thinking long term, 
Now, the question is, could he make it without the stepfather role that millions of people want to see on YouTube? I don't know. But as far as what he decided to do, obviously he wasn't thinking long term because long term, if he was thinking long term, he would have realized these kids could turn around any minute on YouTube and say he touched them. And it did. And it happened. Now, if you look at this clip, everybody's smiling, everybody laughing because he said something. He was like, man, I'm stepping up. And he was like, these ain't even my kids. So even on the show, he was laughing about it. You got three kids. Then the woman, and then himself, then his image. My man was literally taking care of all those kids. And if he didn't do it, look at the thanks he received. The mother, she's crying on interviews talking about CJ so cool, touch Jalea. And the daughter, she's claiming that he touched her. At the end of the day, truth must come to the surface because as of right now, he touched a girl. I understand everybody is innocent until proven guilty, but when it comes to kids, and this is why it's very important to think with your big head and not your little head. Because when you first start dating a woman with a child, you're not going to be around the child. And there's a reason you're not going to be around a child, because she needs to see that you're a good fit to be around her child. So she is pretty much looking at you. She's monitoring you. That's the probation period. Everybody put P, P for probation period. That's it. When you meet a woman with a child, listen, she is pretty much looking at you in that probation period. Is he good fit for our family or is he a good fit keeping it real for my family because the thing about a woman with a child is she's the head once the man leaves she's the head so it's her family so when you come in you got to fit for her family and a lot of people left in the comment section it's like cj really loved royalty and her kids to death I need me a cj look at 45 replies we're not even gonna look at the replies but a lot of women this is why that channel is probably at 9 million subscribers. This is why he's probably is where he is because what CJ So Cool is saying is you could go out, have three kids, and it's okay. I will take care of you. This is the society we're living in, and this is the new norm that women could go out, make short-term decisions, and somebody like CJ So Cool is going to step up, and he's going to step up, sacrifice his life, sacrifice the years, and now get hit with the SA charge against his stepdaughter. This is what this is what society wants men to do. Now, somebody said on the second one, they said, I ain't even gonna lie. Many men wouldn't have stepped up. You guys have to understand. A woman said, give that man his flowers. Give that man his flowers. They're about to give this man court documents. She said. I ain't even gonna lie, many men, and the who you're probably thinking, Mr. Keep it simple. Who are the many men who want to have stepped up? These are the guys that are thinking with the big head. And I'm gonna say this again. I ain't gonna lie, many men would not have stepped up. These are the guys who are thinking with the big head. The guys who are thinking with the little head, they're gonna step up time and time again. You guys have to understand, did CJ so cool touch Jalea? He's touching her in the picture and he's touching them in the, he's touching the kids right now. When you, if you want to be a stepdad, this is the best job ever. Don't give the kid a high five. Don't touch the kid. You're probably going to think, but Mr. Keep It Simple, why would I be in a position where I can't give the kid a high five? Because you touched him. You touched another man's seed. You, you, you touched somebody else's kids. You're not a teacher. You're not, you're not a pediatrics doctor. You guys have to understand it's real out here. And I dropped this content because when it's all said and done, you have women without kids and you have women with kids. But a lot of men, when we're thinking with our lower head, we're not thinking 10 years down the road. And to everybody that rock with my content, I'm taking my time on this video because, see, sometimes I, I be really in the flow. I really be going. And then when I say things, people be like, oh, but Mr. Keep It Simple, nothing is wrong with being a stepdad. Well, if nothing is wrong with being a stepdad, why is this man being charged with sexual assault? We're not even going to say essay. We're just going to keep it 100% real. Why is he being charged for touching a minor?
If everything is okay with that position, why is he, and I'm going to say that again, if everything is okay with being a stepdad, if everything is okay with coming around other people see, why is he being charged for SA? The one to the far right, Jalea, that's the one that said he essayed her. My man really had my man really had a SFL. You're probably thinking, Mr. Keep It Simple, what's an SFL? He had a stepfather lifestyle. He got 32 inch rims in the back. And he got three kids that's not his. And he's taking a picture. You guys have to understand. Like I said, in this mix, you have good, you have evil. You have a mixture of everything. This world, believe it or not, you have balance. You have criminals, you have law-abiding citizens you have civilians and it's the same thing when it comes to women you have a lot of women with kids some have three some have two i'll never forget i met a woman one time on a dating app she said she had eight kids what you going to do about it um i, I did absolutely nothing about it so it could, it could go from eight it could almost probably go to 16 and it could almost go to one now some guys will be like what if she's a widow listen you guys have to understand and i got to give you guys an educational class your sperm is life. And I'm going to say this again. Your sperm is life. So even if you died, your sperm is alive. So for you guys right now who don't have kids, if you procreated and you died, you're still alive through your kid. That's it. So for the woman named Royalty that he was dating... She gave another man three kids. She gave another man three purple hearts, three gold ribbons. You guys have to understand. Now, this is Jalea, the one that was touched by CJ So Cool, according to the accusations. Allegedly, this man bought her on a private jet. So not only did he bring the, his, his, his woman on a jet, he bought her kids on a jet. Now they charging him for sexual assault. Make it make sense. My man probably, I, listen, I'm not pocket watching, but my man probably spent a million on these kids. And now he's being charged with sexual assault. And if he didn't do it, it doesn't matter. When somebody, listen, once you're charged with sexual assault, and as men, this is why we can't put ourselves in certain positions because there's no coming back after SA charge. My man literally was really taking care of other people's kids. He was a, I mean, to me, I feel like that's a big heart. There's a lot of men that would not do that. And when I, and, and you saw that in the comment, even the lady agreed. There's a, there, there, there are many men that will not do it. So at the end of the day, the fact that he did it, not with one, but with three kids, it goes to show that he had a big heart, a super big heart. And honestly, it is what it is until the situation comes to the light. As of right now, I'm going to believe the child. A lot of people are going to believe the child. I understand kids. They make up stuff. Did you eat the candy? No. You see the star, you see the starburst wrapper falling out their pocket. I know sometimes you ask a kid, did you eat the ice cream? They'd be like, no. You can see the Ben and Jerry's in the background. But at the end of the day, why would a kid play about sexual assault? This man, not only was he taking Jalea on private flights, this man was also taking somebody else's child to amusement parks. He was taking somebody else's child to Six Flags. You guys have to understand, I can imagine, this is probably the easiest way to make a million dollars. Just be, just have a stepdad vlog. I can just imagine everybody's like, oh, look at him, he's taking kids. He, listen, a, a lot of people gotta understand, to men without kids, most people, they have pity for you. Oh, that's so, that's such a beautiful thing. You're taking care of another man's child. Listen, it has been said. That's how some people would literally tell you. When you, Listen, a lot of you people, a lot of you young guys, you've probably never been in that position, but some people will literally tell you, oh, that's such a beautiful thing. You're taking care of another man's child. They will let you know every step of the way it's not your child. In the words of Maury, you are not the father. How are you not the father getting charged with S.A.? Let me tell you guys something. We have a lot of kids here in Phoenix. This is not an Amber Alert, but one thing no kid in Phoenix could say is Mr. Keep It Simple touched them. One thing no kid in Phoenix can say is Mr. Keep It Simple moved in the house and Mr. Keep It Simple touched me. And we got and we have a lot of kids here. 
Matter of fact, I travel. There are a lot of kids all over the world. But one thing nobody's ever going to hear is, Mr. Keep It Simple dated a woman with a child and Mr. Keep It Simple touched a kid. You're not going to hear it. Because I'm not going to put myself in that position because you guys have to understand, I talked about the breakup. Breakups, not only can they be bad for adults, they also going to be bad for the kids. When you come in and you raise somebody else's child, you got somebody else's kids standing next to Lamborghinis, 32-inch rims, and you're taking them on private jets. If that comes to a stop, those kids going to be mad at you. Stepdad, why you stop stepping? Mr. Keep It Simple, can you say that again? They're going to be like, Stepdad, why you stop stepping? Stepdad, why you stop marching? So this is a daughter right here with the mother. You guys have to understand, like, it's hard. <laughs> On the boulevard, but if, like I said, if somebody want to be a stepdad, go ahead and do it. I'm going to put the link in the description. CJ So Cool said, I will never, ever be a stepdad again. And I keep telling you, sometimes in life, learning from others might be the best way to learn. Going through experiences yourself, yes. Hey, it is what it is. Also a great way to learn, but as men... There are a million things that we could do in this lifetime and get in charge of sexual assault. It doesn't matter if it's Young Philly. It doesn't matter if it's Diddy. It doesn't matter if it's CJ So Cool. It doesn't matter if it's R. Kelly. It doesn't matter. That's something that you do not want to be involved with because you got to ask yourself, how many women are out here without kids? There are a lot of women out here without kids. So if there are a lot of women without kids, why would you want to involve yourself with a woman who is busy, not for 18 years? This is what you guys have to understand. She is busy for life. Taking care of another man's seed. And some people don't think about it like that because, see, we're not walking sperm. We're human beings now. But how did we get here? We got here because somebody released so at the end of the day, we're literally still walking sperm. So why would you want to go around another man's sperm? As a, as, as a straight male, as a warrior, as a man of authority, as a man of dominion, why would you want to go around another man's seat? But I'm going to tell you why. We don't have this. This is not discussed in college. They don't teach you about this in high school. A lot of men are not thinking and some men grew up without fathers, so you'll be surprised. Most men that grew up without fathers, those are going to be the ones that be like, you know what? I didn't have a dad, so I just want to be there for somebody else's kids. But you guys got to understand, that's that man's sperm. That's his seed. That's his, that's his flag. What are you doing on another man's island? And it backfired on him. Now, this is the mother right here. She's like, yeah. Um, Jalea said that CJ touched her. And like I said, I never heard of CJ so cool. This is my first time, but it's crazy how this man is getting flagged for being a good stepdad. Now, like I said, did he touch her until things come out? I'm just going to believe the child. And this is what's going to happen. The majority of people, if you go around somebody else's kids and they say, he touched me, you have to understand the majority of people, not that we care for validation, they're going to believe the child. As a man without kids, I think now he probably has kids. Why would you want to put yourself in a situation where if a kid lies and say, he touched me, you could lose your job? If you're an influencer, you could lose your sponsorships. Why would you want to put yourself in that position? Because, oh, she's special. Because, oh, she's beautiful. How many special women out there without kids? All women are special. If you ask me, all women are special. What makes this one so special with three kids? Now he regrets it. And this is why I make content. I make content because life is not about regrets. Life is about exercise of wisdom and making the right decision. And I'm going to say this again. In life, it's fast. It moves fast. This year is almost over. Life is not about regrets. Life is about having wisdom and exercising wisdom. That's what life is about. Making great decisions. If you want a great life, make great decisions. I went out this past weekend and guess what? I was not driving and I was not drinking. Why? Because I don't want a bad decision of a DUI. So I called the lift and guess what? I made a great decision and guess what? I don't have any regrets about this past weekend. It's the same thing. When you date a woman with a child, you guys have to understand, SA, yes, it can pop up because if the child said, listen, it could come back two decades two decades later. It could come back 20 years later. 
Yes, it's never going to end because at one point in time, you was around the child. So at the end of the day, that child could come back 15 years later. Mom, he touched me in a place I never wanted to be touched. It took me a long time to talk about it. You guys have to understand, when you step up to the plate, it seems like you're doing the right thing. They got the headline, prayers for Jaleel. But at the end of the day, a lot of the kids of the parents, I'm not saying all, some people are happy to have a stepdad. Some people are happy to have another guy play Call of Duty with them. Some guys are happy for that. But you have a lot of kids out there, you're, you're just a stepdad. We don't like you. We don't respect you. You're not our father. And this is a reality of it that a lot of people don't talk about. A lot of people always want to show you the pros. Tyler Perry, they're going to show you the pros. CJ so cool. He tried, and it's crazy how it backfired, but he tried to show you the pros of being a stepdad. Now it backfired on him. Before I finish this video, I just want to say, man, think with your big head. Don't think with your little head. Because when you think with your big head, you can think 10 years from now. You can think 20 years from now. When you think with your little head, you're only thinking in the moment. And when you're thinking in the moment, guess what? When you mess with a woman, whatever she got going on with her, you're like, I don't care. I just love you for you. But you're just in the moment. Now, the same woman that CJ So Cool loved for many years took on private flights. She's now teaming up with her daughter to bring this man down. She's now teaming up with her daughter because we don't know if, she, if the daughter's telling the truth. We don't know if she's lying. But she's now teaming up with the daughter to end this man's career. Two options, guys. And we're always going to talk about this to the point because sometimes in life, you got to beat things in your head. So it's either we're going to think with the big head or we're going to think with the little head. And when we think with the big head, the big head will say, listen, I'm going to start my own family. I'm going to start my own legacy. And I'm going to be in control of my house. These kids will respect me in my house. That's thinking with the big head. Thinking with the little head, I don't care if I don't have any say. I don't care if I don't have any authority. I don't care if I'm not the real father. As long as I'm with Susie, as long as I'm with Martha, life is good. And then 10 years later, when you get hit with the essay charge, that's when you're going to realize, what was I doing? Like I said, I'm going to post a link in the description, but CJ so cool, he regrets it. He was like, I don't ever be a stepfather. For a stepfather to tell somebody, don't be a stepfather, that's a regret, let it breathe.